it's no wonder why people don't use these clunky old filing cabinets anymore. I've got a big presentation due this week, and I'm having a little bit of trouble finding everything I need. Now, I've got my demo script that I'm going to be following. That was in the client folder. But I also have some handouts that I need that weren't there. Maybe I've got those filed under graphics, or they're probably under marketing. You know, I really need to get this information into my computer. So I can just navigate into my client folder. And clients by industry, I keep them in media and entertainment. Nope, not there. Back out to clients. Oh, they're one of my top clients. There's Time Warner. Aha! There's my Winning Edge presentation. Now, the script I was editing, so I keep that in a different directory. Um, that's back in my action items. So there's my presentation script and my product handout, which would probably be in graphics. No. Maybe I keep that in marketing. Where's my marketing folder? Well, wait a minute. Using this isn't that much different than using this. I need my computer to think like I do. I need my computer to get a brain. The brain lets me organize information the way I think about it. Whether it's an email, web page, document, or just an idea. In this case, I'll click down into my clients and select the top client's thought. I'll be giving my presentation to Time Warner. Notice that I also have Time Warner linked under Communications as well as Media and Entertainment. Regardless of how I'm thinking about this particular client, I'll find exactly what I'm looking for and won't waste any time. I'll create a new thought underneath Time Warner for my upcoming presentation. And I'll drag and drop the PowerPoint document right from my desktop onto that thought. This creates a link back to that original file. If I'd like, I can right click and copy the file or move the file into the brain, whichever works best for me. I'll move the file in and notice that it no longer resides on my desktop. I'll also link this thought up to my marketing. I won't lose track of this particular presentation in the future. I'll even bring in those links to my presentation script and the product brochure. And I'll even take this one step further and do something a typical file and folder type structure can't do. I'm going to be co-presenting with my boss, Terry, so I'll link to his thought. And Terry recently emailed out some changes to our team that need to happen in the presentation. I'll grab that email and bring it right into the brain as well. And next, I'll add some notes to my document. Just a few subtle tips that I need to keep in mind while I'm polishing my presentation this week. And last but not least, I'll add a calendar reminder so the brain will remind me when it's time to head out for that big presentation. All the files and documentation that I need are now really at my fingertips. Well, so long files and folders, my computer has a brain. Download your own copy of The Brain at www.thebrain.com and start building your own digital memory.